the inferior is purified sanctified by the superior i do remember a lady came on wheelchair to the prayer house because she was suffering from hiv positive she had aids she was very thin very weak she could not even walk there came a time she lost all her weight and she was put on the wheelchair so she was brought for the prayers so while praying for her we asked her do you believe that jesus can heal you then she said time is too late now i am at the brink of death we told her for god it is never late acts 16:31 believe in the lord jesus you and your family will be saved raise your hands and repeat after me believe in the lord jesus believe in the lord jesus you and your household will be saved you and your household will be saved if you believe we told her you will be healed and set free we asked her how long you made your last confession she told me father i i cannot go for confession because i knowingly committed sin father my boyfriend cheated on me and i got infected with aids so i was so revengeful so i knowingly slept with nine different men and i infected them with aids so no one can forgive me i am afraid even to make confession because i was so revengeful i was so hurt so the same way i was deceived i decided to deceive others we told her god forgives even those sins and we told her to repeat psalm 41 for psalm 41 for raise your right hands and repeat after me as for me i said as for me i say oh lord oh lord be gracious to me be gracious to me heal me heal me for i have sinned against you for i have sinned against you be merciful to me be merciful to me heal me heal me for i have sinned against you for i have sinned against you as for me i said as for me i say oh lord oh lord be gracious to me be gracious to me heal me heal me for i have sinned against you for i have sinned against you be merciful to me be merciful to me heal me heal me for i have sinned against you for i have sinned against you we told her to repeat this word of god this is a word prayed by david the king he committed adultery he got a child the child got sick he came to know now if he and his child is suffering sickness is because he sinned against the lord that is why he prayed be merciful to me heal me because i have sinned against you we told her god forgives even if you have sinned if god can forgive david who committed murder adultery idolatry our god is the god of david that is why this blind bartimeu prayed jesus son of david have pity on me that means jesus who had pity on david who was a sinner forgive me the same way you forgive david the adulterer david the murderer david the idolater jesus son of david have pity on me we told this lady on wheelchair with hiv positive if you plead unto the lord for forgiveness he forgives he forgave sakeus he forgave the prostitute he forgave the adulterous women woman he forgave the samaritan woman if you look into the gospel how it becomes a good news god came to the sinners he openly said i came not for the healthy but for the sick i came not for the righteous but for sinners if you are a sinner is for you that jesus has come praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah so we told her 
to make confession and we told her Jesus never punish you Jesus can never punish anyone do you agree with me it's our own sin that is punishing us not Jesus Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 19 we read this is prophet Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 19 our own wickedness will convict us our own sins will will punish us we read jeremiah 219 your wickedness will punish you and your apostasies will convict you know and see that it is evil and bitter for you to forsake the lord your god the fear of me is not in you says the lord god the lord of hosts it's our own wickedness not god so the moment we repent he is going to forgive us we told her look at peter he denied jesus three times i want to ask you knowingly or unknowingly knowingly because jesus gave him three times warning even then he denied jesus So after the resurrection this is gospel of John chapter 20 from 15 Jesus is coming to Peter and Jesus is asking him John 21 from 15 Simon son of Jonah do you love me Peter answered yes i love you Jesus answered second time and he answered he asked a third time now the bible scholars say interpret this scripture like this Peter started to think my master never used to ask me the same question over and over again now for the third time my master is asking me do you love me many things went through his mind if i if i love my lord how do i deny him how do i go away from his discipleship how do i go back for fishing so he knows my heart then they say peter answered like this lord you know me you know how weak i am you know how repeatedly i fall into the same sin you know how much i have denied you how much i have gone away from you my lord but you know if you look inside my heart i love you you know everything you know that i am weak you know that i am a wicked person you know i am so imperfect you know the way i speak the way i act is so different but lord i love you so sisters and brothers the biggest punishment the penance jesus gave to peter was just to repeat that he love him that's all we told this lady on the wheelchair just make a good confession go to the nearby parish receive holy eucharist because the the inferior is sanctified by the superior we with hiv positive your blood has lost the immunity the blood of jesus that comes to your body will give you sanctification healing new life we told her to repeat just because she was very weak she could not even make a good confession she cannot even remember she is very weak very thin she lost her weight we just told her to repeat psalm 414 daily 50 times using the rosary to count it and go to the nearby parish and make regular attending of the holy mass make a regular confession and receive eucharist in holiness sisters and brothers after three months she came back not on wheelchair god had healed her through the eucharist praise the lord holy eucharist can heal you believe it because that is the body and the blood of jesus if you have sickness is in the body do you believe that the body of jesus can cleanse the sickness in your body if your sickness is in the blood don't you believe that the blood of jesus can heal your blood related sickness if you believe if you receive eucharist in holiness great miracles will take place in your life praise the lord so jesus basically he came to this world to become eucharist to become part of us the 
name of Jesus is Emmanuel to be with us what is the difference between other so called religions other so called gods and Jesus our God Jesus is the only God who became part of our life who came inside us the only God who comes inside us is Jesus in the form of Eucharist so to receive Jesus in the Eucharist means to receive Jesus inside your body inside your blood praise the Lord hallelujah 